This video will cover the topic, Algebraic Symbol Manipulation with Radicals. In these types of problems, we are given an equation containing two different variables. Then we are asked to solve for the specified variable. Let's take a look at the problem we will be working through. We are given k times the square root of h equals 8, and we are asked to solve for h. Our goal in order to solve for h is to isolate h. Our first step is to divide both sides of the equation by k. The result is the square root of h equals 8 over k. I see that h is inside of a square root. How do we isolate h when this is the case? That's a great question. In order to get rid of the square root, we must do the inverse. The inverse of taking the square root is squaring the value. We can not only square one side of the equation, however, as this would change the value on one side of our equation. Instead, we square both sides of the equation in order to keep both sides equivalent. The result after squaring both sides of our equation is the square root of h squared equals 8 over k squared. The square root of h squared equals h, and what is 8 over k squared equal? Well, whenever we square a fraction, we must square both the numerator and denominator. So our result will be 64 over k squared. That's exactly right. Now we have found that h is equal to 64 over k squared. Let's take a look at one more example problem. We are given n equals the square root of 4e, and we are asked to solve for the variable e. Once again, we must square both sides of the equation in order to remove the square root containing 4e. The result would be n squared equals 4e. What would our final step be? In order to isolate the variable e, we must divide both sides of the equation by 4. That's exactly right. After dividing both sides of our equation by 4, our final result is e equals n squared over 4. Let me see if I have all this straight. In order to solve for the specified variable in an equation containing radicals, I can begin by squaring both sides of the equation. Once there is no longer a radical in the equation, I can use algebraic properties to isolate the variable and find my final answer. That's right. Great work. 